how to find the convolution of two identical rect function that have a width uh, of t and we're going to look at the graphical method obviously you can be using uh, the equation with integrals if you want to but the graphical method gives a slightly more intuitive way to think about it I think so let's just look at the setup first and then we'll go through uh, the process we've got one rect function drawn here the width of the rect function is t so it goes from t over 2 to negative t and here at the bottom we're going to be drawing the result of the convolution the height of the rect function is 1 so the total area inside that rectangle is going to be t alright so to do the convolution graphically what we want to do is to draw another rectangle and we're going to be shifting that rect, rect function to the right here is the center of the rect function and what we're going to be looking for is an area of overlap between the two rect functions. So right now, the two rectangles don't overlap, so the convolution will be zero at this point. And then as I slide it to the right, we can see that they start to overlap. And in light gray is the area of overlap. And down at the bottom here, you can see the value of the convolution. As I'm sliding it more to the right, the area is increasing. It's increasing, it's increasing, it's increasing. Right here, half the overlap is equal to half the width of a rectangle. So the area is t over 2. As I slide it more and more and more and more to the right, when I arrive here at 0, we've got the maximum overlap that corresponds to an area of t which is the point we get here. As I slide it more to the right, now the area is decreasing and it will become t over 2 again here and it will become 0 when they stop overlapping and that's going to be right here. And as I move further to the right, the overlap is 0, there's no overlap, so here the value of the function is 0. All right, let's take a look at it again uh, one more time. So as I slide it, they don't overlap, they don't overlap, then there is a slight overlap. The value is increasing here on my graph, increasing until there's a maximum overlap, which is going to be right here. And then as I shift more to the right, the overlap is decreasing and therefore the value of the convolution is decreasing. So what we get in the end is a triangle function that has a width of 2t and a height of t. This time we're going to look at the convolution between a rect t and rect 2t uh, functions. So what I've drawn here is rect 2t. It's the same setup as in the previous one. So now our rect function has a width of 2t, so it goes from negative t to t, and the height is still 1. Uh, the convolution is a commutative operation, so I could have drawn here 1 of t and then slide 1 of 2t, but I've done it this way. So we're going to be sliding this time uh, a rect of width t you can see here and again we're going to look for the overlap so this time you can see they're going to start to overlap at negative 1.5 t and we can see on the graph at the bottom that the overlap is increasing it's increasing and increasing but this time it's going to become maximum here at negative 0 0.5 t the overlap cannot be bigger than the smallest rectangle. And now the overlap is constant. So we see a horizontal line on the bottom graph all the way until 0 0.5t. If I shift it more to the right, the overlap is going to start to decrease now. Now we've got half the rectangle that overlaps, so the overlap is t over 2. 
and then as I keep on moving it to the right, the overlap is decreasing, decreasing, and it becomes zero at 1.5 t. Okay. So this time it's not quite a triangle function that we get because we got this plateau here because the uh, overlap is constant in between negative 0 0.5 t and t. So maybe let's look at it again one more time. I'm sliding it to the right. There's no overlap. The value is going to be zero here. And the overlap is going to start just at this point. And we see it's increasing, increasing, increasing. We had 0 0.5 t, half the maximum height. It's increasing. Now the overlap is constant, 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 constant. And then it starts decreasing again. And that's it.